In this video, I'm going to quickly explain how to work out a percentage using Microsoft Excel. You can see that I have an Excel spreadsheet here. Each of the boxes is called a cell, and we can highlight a cell by clicking it. So you can see I have uh, the data from an experiment. We've got a theoretical yield. We've got an actual yield, and I want to work out the percentage yield. So effectively, I'm taking 61, and I'm working out what that is as a percentage of 167. So I want that number, that percentage, to go into this box here. So I highlight the box like that. And then I click the formula bar at the top of the page. We want Excel to work something out. So we press the equal sign. And what I want to happen is for Excel to take whatever is in this cell here. So I click that cell and then divide. And in Excel, that is a forward slash by whatever is in this cell here. And again, I click it. And you can see that the coordinates for those cells have appeared in the formula bar. OK, this is cell A2 because it's in column A, row 2. This is cell B2 because it's in column B and row 2. OK, so this formula here tells Excel to work out whatever is in B2 and then divide by whatever is in A2. Now, in order to make this as a percentage, we also need to multiply by 100. So I'm just going to click my cursor between the equal sign and B2 and I'm just going to type in 100 and then the asterisk, which in Excel means multiply. And that is the formula that we need to work out the percentage using those two numbers. So to finish off, we just press the return key and you can see that the percentage appears in the cell that we wanted. Now, finally, you can see that Excel has not rounded that to a certain number of decimal places. It's just given us the full number like you would see on a calculator. So I just want to tidy that up a bit. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to right click. I'm going to move down to where it says format cells. I'm going to select number. And I'm going to change this to zero decimal places. So I want it rounded to the nearest whole number. And you can see Excel has done that for me automatically.